How do I plant a coconut sapling? People who practice commercial crop of a coconut farm, they will dig uh, sufficient enough uh, pit of about uh, two to three feet depth and they will somehow get the coconut tree fixed in and they will plant one no sorry plant not they will give a support of a firm stick to get it fixed intact until it until it uh, uh, gets its roots uh, uh, into the soil but what will I do? I do this. See, I am having sufficient enough weed over there, Parthenium weed. See, this is what I do. <laughs> this is what I do. Double the work will happen. See, you can er eradicate this uh, weed and so dump it here. Uh, uh, I just placed it on the soil. And started dumping this weed right next to the to the base of the coconut. See, the mud is also coming along with the the shoot of this weed. So this mud will settle down, settle down with ease along with the rain. Along with the rain waters. At the same time, this sapling will get the mm, essential manure that of that of leaf manure. Along with that, it will also get this fertile soil. This soil is can be uh, said that it is having the high fertility. Why? Because they are growing like that. See, that's how they are growing. The growth says that the soil is highly fertile. Isn't it so? Isn't it so? I don't need to give any support to this uh, sapling either. See, I am trying to bend it down from the peak. The top part here, see. Whatever may be the breeze, uh, the wild wind that is going to come, this is going to stay intact. It is going to get the manure, leaf manure. It is going to get the best soil, fixing in the roots into the underneath soil. Isn't it a easy and a new method of planting a coconut tree? Isn't it so? That's how I have planted all of them. All the trees that I have planted. See, there is one. There is one. Here is one. That's how I plant them. And every time I go past this particular piece of area, I will start eliminating all the weed. Whatsoever is going to come up, come up later in the year. Later in, uh, uh, in the period wherein this tree develops to its maximum strength. Isn't it a good method of growing coconut? Leave your message for this video. And going further, whenever you clean up a little space like this amongst this heavy weed, whenever, whenever you clean it up, I, what I do is, I always carry few seeds in my pocket. Whenever I go around my farm, what I will do, whenever I get such clean place, cleared from weed, this is what I do. See, this is what I call zero farming. 
about a week's time. Give it a week's time or about 15 days. They will grow to this size. And later on, there is no need of any extra care. They will shoot like, uh, like the one that is there at the center of the screen. There. Isn't it? A easy method of farming. Unwanted plant. Pluck it. Fold it. And place it at the bottom of a wanted plant. See, it is growing. So this plant is going to give a lots and lots of vegetable for me. And this is what I call zero farming. I am growing lots of things. See, this is one bean legume. There, here are the other legume oil, oil seed. That is the pea plant. I'm sorry, peanut plant. Peanut plant. And I am growing one more very important and very tasty thing. That is, here it is. This is sweet potato. All that you need to do to grow sweet potato is pluck one such such uh, healthy grown piece of stem and plant it like this. This is this is not planted through the seed the the rhizome. It is planted and it is growing finely with this technique. So I can expand this very tasty sweet potato throughout my field. And a time will come when this particular, oh, oh, so the, what do you call this? Man? It spreads, it spreads like this, it, it, hell, it, it spreads, spreads with a high speed and uh, it covers all the such plain soil which is very much prone to get covered like this by parthenium, unwanted junk. That's why I am expanding this, this sweet potato and I love it, this Potato, sweet potato, it is having lots of, what to say, calories, sweet, and many more vitamins, I see. Also, also, I guess. Even if I start plucking this unwanted junk, what, I, what will I do? Place it next to the bottom of the plant that is needed for the survival of a human being. This is the natural farming that I am doing in my field. I wonder how many have tried and tested this, but I am doing it since many years.